The 16 year old student hurt at a Kitchener roundabout is planning to launch a lawsuit. Her lawyer claims the damages could be in the tens of millions of dollars. CTV's David Emery is in our newsroom tonight with this exclusive story. David. Megan, the allegations are serious and the lawyer representing Cassie Lamb says they take into account both the pain she's suffering and what he says are insufficient steps to make the roundabout safe. The letter names three defendants, the City of Kitchener, Regional Municipality of Waterloo, and Grand River Transit Authority. It notes, this letter shall be noticed to you of the intention of Cassie Lamb and her family members to advance a claim for damages. As a result of her head striking, uh, her skull striking the front window of the bus, breaking it has caused a severe brain injury to her, significant facial scarring to this young model's beautiful face, She's also suffered a fractured tibia and fibula of her leg. Which means Family lawyer David McDonald says the operator of the Grand River Transit bus will also be named in the action. Cassie Lamb was struck by the bus as she crossed a roundabout at Homer Watson and Block Line on October 7th. It's alleged this patently unsafe traffic circle has been built with tax dollars from local citizens without taking appropriate safeguards to ensure pedestrians and traffic would be able to safely use the intersection. The driver was not paying due attention as he was traveling around the roundabout. But more importantly, I think we have a situation in the city of Kitchener that is of grave concern to its residents, which is the construction of a roundabout um, in an area in which there is high pedestrian volume. Cassie Lamb is recovering at home. Public pressure has led to plan changes at the roundabout, but David McDonald questions how much they will help. We suggest that it's certainly not sufficient to, to keep the residents of Kitchener safe. We think that the steps that have been taken to date, including the passage of the bylaw last night, are insufficient to address the concerns. We know that pedestrians in Ontario expect safe passage across roadways, and we know that drivers sometimes get confused as to who has the right of way. Putting politicians on notice with a call for further action before someone else is hurt or worse. If that happens, the notice warns that failure of council to act to protect its citizens will lead to further legal action against council members personally. We need a full inquiry by a city, which late in the day is making some backward looking changes which are not going to have the effect of preventing um, children from being injured, probably seriously. Last week, Waterloo Regional Police charged the bus driver with careless driving. The region acknowledges receipt of the letter today, but was not able to provide any comment on the allegations. And Kitchener Mayor Carl Zare tells CTV News once a legal action has begun, it would be improper to comment on the specific issue. Megan?